I am Dr. Thompson Aqua Ntuba, international physician, the national political leader and communicator, certified professional and expert in global health, advisor of prime ministers and presidents, publisher of Health and Development magazine. Updates on global politics. There is a nation of Prime Minister of the UK or the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson. Today, the 7th of July, in the UK, President or Prime Minister Boris Johnson has finally told the British people, thanking them for support they have given him for close to three years or two and a half years from 2019 when he took over from Theresa May as the Prime Minister of England when Theresa or PM Theresa May resigned. Boris Johnson has been a great leadership or global partner to the American President his Excellency, President Joe Biden, walking in NATO, addressing the war in Ukraine. He was recently in the city of Kiev in the nation of Ukraine, encouraging, supporting, side by side with Ukrainian President Zelensky in his resignation speech today he spoke directly to the ukrainian people encouraging them telling them that leading western europe against the russian invasion is something which he needed to do and that he was going to continue to be there with the russian people and that they will always get his support and the support of the British people and the entire UK or the United Kingdom. Boris Johnson came in at the time when Britain was leaving the European Union on what he called Brexit or Brexit. And he addressed that in his resignation in his resignation speech and said that has been done under his watch. Uh, those of us who are experts in global health and development are aware of the fact that Johnson has done a lot supporting uh, the work that is done at the World Health Organization. And so we take great pride. A number of the meetings that we've had, the briefings, the meetings with the Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros, has had great inputs from leadership from the UK. And it's not been too long when Boris Johnson, hosting uh, the G7 and other uh, meetings, actually hosted the Global Health Summit. So, in his brief resignation remarks to the people of the UK, he also talked about how his administration was in the forefront, providing leadership in the in the British preparedness and response to the coronavirus pandemic as it relates to that country. Boris Johnson, or Prime Minister Boris Johnson, will be in office and in place until the Conservatives in Parliament elect a new leader or Prime Minister. In the multiple 
times that I've been in England and in my visits to the Parliament building, I have appreciated the form of British democracy. It is not like and the same with the American form of government. The American system is a presidential system and the British system is a parliamentary system. And many of the parliamentarians who were appointed into, into government as ministers began to resign and when you have that many ministers resign from your government like they did under Boris Johnson, it is hard to hold on. Johnson tried to hold on, but it didn't work because if you had those many, some people said close to put the ministers and other members in top positions in government, they were close to almost 50 people. So what were you going to do? You appointed new people and they resigned. So there is no way that he could hold on, but he fought. And he really wanted to continue. So he's already resigned, but he will still be acting or he'll still be in office until a time when the new parliament or the new prime minister is, is elected to replace him. His resignation will be sent to the crown. So the Queen will receive that and also when a new Prime Minister is elected, the person's el uh, election and acceptance to form a government will also go through the, the Buckingham Palace. And as I said, I have been to into England multiple times, or I've had multiple entries in the UK. I've been downtown uh, London. I've visited the parliamentary beautiful buildings. I've talked to most of the uh, leaders in the place. I've been to Marlboro House, which is the seat of the Commonwealth in the UK. I have had the opportunity to talk to uh, British judges and magistrates uh, during set, uh, certain meetings in the UK, uh, especially as it related to HIV AIDS and the law. So it's a country that I take great pride in. And we have no doubt, we in the global health and development community and leadership have no doubt that there will be sustainability things will be okay and as Johnson said the the need for those who come in to make sure that taxes are cut there is uh, resources to be able to continue he talked about the ingenuity and the talent and the giftedness of the British people and the ability to forge and, and make uh, great progress and development so that is that a, the new person most likely will be working with the other members of nato g7 g20 the united nations to make sure that the pressing problems in the world uh, that requires the attention address so boris johnson so far has stepped aside and Britain is in the process of getting a new Prime Minister and we wish